Oh, hey, baby. Are you laying on the floor again? What else do you think? I'm just talking about how it is, though. A lot, apparently. I mean, why are you going to spend all this money on nice clothes if you're just going to ruin it by putting on the ground? Hey, you remember when... And then what's the deal with this guy? Oh, well, officers picked him up after he was lurking around the crime scene. How can you look at Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Are you really asking me that? Yeah, would you like a coffee, soda, anything like that? No, I don't want any of that. I just want to go home. It's my favorite Spongebob song. Look, if you're just asking me your questions, I want to leave on. Fair enough. So do you always hang out near dead bodies? I don't know what you're talking about. You were caught right outside the scene of a murder. If I'd known a woman had been there, I would have never gone. Woman? Yeah, that's what you said. You said a woman was there in the crime scene. Yeah, yeah, you're right, I must have. What were you doing earlier that day? I don't know. You don't know? No. I mean... I don't know. Does everyone remember what they do every day? True. But when most people are involved in a murder case, the seriousness of which tends to jog the memory a little faster. Look, I woke up in the morning, went out, ate with some friends, went to a party, and got arrested. Happy? There it is. So do you know this woman, Kimberly Ann Miller? That's a dead woman, right? Do you know how she died? Strangulation, it would appear. The fear that poor woman must have felt. Hmm. Connie Ann Miller was most likely afraid, yes. I don't know this woman. What were you looking at her friends? Actually, her friends, family, and boyfriend. Hmm. All have alibis. So you think it was a stranger? Did you look at her boyfriend? A tall, handsome man. Couldn't have done this. It had to be a stranger, someone who is unassumingly weak. Unassuming? Weak. It happened in the middle of the night. In order to get close to a woman like that, he had to not post a threat. Not a threat, but it would appear she was dead wrong. So you think this weak man... Weak? You think this man was weak and incompetent? I didn't say incompetent. Well, most women do. Beautiful woman like that, and she's so unique, just because her left eye is blue and her right green and has long curly hair, has a ton of friends that like her, probably walked past by her killer, didn't even give her the time of day. And it seems that whore paid for her vapidness. That feeling she had staring up at him while he wrapped his hands around her neck. And 
squeeze the life out of her and stare into those eyes as they drain into nothing. That's sick. I no. You know what's sick? Stupid bitches. I won't give a nice guy a chance. It's all hypothetical. So how'd you know about a right eye being green? What? That's pretty rare considering only 0.67% of the population suffers from this. And the fact that she wore a blue contact in her right eye to hide this, it's pretty extraordinary that you guessed which eye color was in which eye correctly. We were friends. What's her name? I've said it multiple times, surely the real one stuck out to you. Uh... So if you don't know her name, it means you weren't friends. So that would mean the fact that you know this about her would come from an interaction you two had that was pretty memorable. I would say, like, strangling her to death that would cause her right eye contact to pop out. I'll get myself a lawyer.